You ain't going up, okay? I'll be honest with you. You ain't. Hey, oh, hey, 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 no, no, that's what I'm telling you. Easy. But you, but Sir, I'm talking. Lower your tone. Listen, you don't tell me to shut up. Listen, you need to just... Shout out Angry Vet Audits. Got you. Never like those guys. Or the police. Your body cam off so my camera stays on. Crooked ass cops won't like this song. Gotta film the police when they do something wrong. I'ma film the police when they do something wrong. What's up, everyone? This is Angry Vet Audits. And in this video, I'm out here with Anthony X and NorCal Cop Watch. We're at the San Jose Veterans Affairs Clinic in San Jose, California to see if the public servants respect our rights to peacefully film in public. This audit was done for a fellow vet named Jack who contacted me through email. He was a cavalry scout in the 11th Armored Cavalry Regiment and was deployed to Desert Storm. When he described his experiences at the VA, I was compelled to rally the troops and check this place out. If any of you supporters have a place you want checked out, send me an email at angryvetaudits at gmail.com. Mount up and get ready for the ride. I got the handicap access out of order. No guns, knives allowed. 8 to 4.30. Oh, we got all the right here. Oh, coffee. Can we help you? Oh, no, thank you. How you doing? Well, you know, you, you, you ain't supposed to be video when inside here, go. Right? Yeah, I'm just checking out the place. That's me? All. I'm just checking it out. No, but you ain't supposed to be doing no video when inside here. It says it's posted outside. Where? I didn't see it. All I saw was no weapons. Or whatever. Something like that. What are your intentions when I'm asking you before I call my supervisor? I'll just fill me the facility to check it out. The What's that? I can't hear you. Just check it out the facility over here. Yeah, but you ain't supposed to be visualizing anything like this. Why? I could see it with my eyes and stuff. Yeah, but do you have that on? Um, I don't know. No, but that, and that, in other words, the answer is yes. No, it's not yes. No. Okay. It's well, not I no. See I'm not answering. Well, of course you're not going to answer. Why? Well, because you already told me right now. I didn't tell you anything. Because I just I, said I'm not going to answer. Well, that's exactly what you're saying. Yeah, but but we're asking you to you not, not video in here, please. You have to leave out. Okay. That'd be best. Huh? You leave out. Okay. Come on. Please. Come on. So I just wanted to know what's upstairs, though. What's that? What's upstairs over there? Up there. What's so serious? Go uh, in the office. No, upstairs. Upstairs. Hello. Otherwise, you have an appointment. If you have an appointment, okay, we'll be able to apply. But since you have no appointment, you're going to have to leave. Okay? You, you understand what I'm saying? I know you understand what I'm saying, okay? Not really, because I don't want to leave right now. Please, gentlemen. Please, gentlemen. I don't want well, I just, I just want to take a little tour real quick. Please. I'm, just, I'm, just I'm begging you just to let me take a tour and check out the no, facility. I'm not going to film any patients or anything. I'll do my best not to get them on camera. Uh, no, there's no tours. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm going to be frank with you right now. Okay, okay. Well, I came in through I came in through that door. Can I go? Okay, yes. Right, and, right. and we're going to escort you through that. Can door. Can you just uh, stop? Yes, yes, I am. All right. I am. But the thing is, right, so you, you went through. I'm, the I'm gonna watch y'all leave out. You came right. through the back door. Yeah. Yeah. That's, what That's the back door? You went there, you went this way. Oh, I didn't know that was okay, the front door. This guy come over here. It's a back door. Okay. Uh, no, you ain't going you ain't going up, okay? I'll be honest with you. 
You wait. Hey, oh, okay. hey, hey, hey. No, no, that's what I'm telling you. Easy. But, you, but, but you have no. Hey, you can't bump into me. No, this... but the thing is, though, you guys can't video coming in here. I don't know what you guys are doing here. Do okay. you have authorization? Yes, I do. I, I got okay, the authorization. Let me, let me see your authorization. Oh. Let me see your authorization. Can I see your ID first? Yes. Call it Marco. Are you one of these audit idiots? Uh, are they, are they audit idiots? Audit idiots? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> hey, who are you? Hey, who fuck are you? you. Oh my god. Easy, lady. Why don't you go blow off some steam and take a bike ride? There's no need for that. Sir. Sir. Hello. Sir. You're disturbing, you're disturbing veterans now. Can I ask you to leave? Oh. I'm asking nice and can you Okay, okay. But I just, can, can I ask one question? No partners and escort. Are masks required or anywhere? No, it's not required. Oh, okay. No you, masks are required? Yeah, it's optional, but can you exit? Escort. Hey, hey, Phil. Yeah, Phil, call Sal's APD, please. Yeah, or actually, yes. These guys trying to get physical. To I'm not getting physical. It's just that he was making. I could food. be wrong. I was double. As soon as I'm talking, lower your tone. Listen, I, I you don't tell me to shut up. Listen, yeah, you, you need to just slow down, no. right? Let's no, take a couple breaths. Take some deep breaths and ready. calm down. I know what you're trying to do. Just you're, calm doing, down. you're trying to commit an argument. I'm not then, arguing. Then, you know what? Then I've asked you to politely leave. I was going to the elevator and you. You cannot go you, upstairs. You checked you me like a linebacker, it. man. Did you used to play you linebacker? Go upstairs, or Jeez. upstairs, sir. So security, we're just in the public area. We're not here to bother anyone. This guys. is not a public area. We don't need you in here because you're exposed to you can't burn or conduct business. Where does it take citizens that citizens are not coming to public buildings? You know, have to be physically yeah, removed. Um, phone cameras and tripods. Um, no, they don't have any authorization or paperwork. Look. Or do you guys? Yeah, I have authorization. I uh, just I, I left it in the car. Oh, uh, you left it in the car. It's three people. One, one person just went upstairs. Wait, are you talking to the police? Talking to the police? Oh, okay, okay. Hey. He's on the, on the phone with the police right now. Hello. Okay. One guy just walked upstairs. I think that, uh, he, called, uh, uh, he just called PG right now. Hey, I'm going to go get him so I could get him out of here. No, you're not going to go no, get nobody. So we could get him out of here. We're, we're going to take off. He's on the phone with the police. Right? No, I'm telling you no. Why are you blocking my, my path? Because you ain't supposed to go upstairs. That guy, as soon as he caught me over there, you took off up there. Oh. Okay, so it's not this is elevator room. Don't, don't go upstairs. No. You ain't going upstairs, man. Not a hubbub down there. This is the second floor. Hello. Yeah, I think we need to go back down there. Well, I came up the stairs because you said we couldn't come upstairs. Yeah. Well, I think the story is down there though. Now they're acting yeah, yeah. fools. The story is definitely down there. But I think if we if we all scramble to different floors now and then they try to come find us. That would definitely be crazy. Yeah. Well, they're calling the VA police right now, so. That's okay. Yeah. I'm going to talk to you if you can ask him to step back a little bit. Okay, let me So again. Can you, you not record me, please? I already got your name back. Don't worry. Okay, that's fine. Street. It's public information. Okay. So anyways, let me start, let's start fresh. Okay. I'm just a guy with a camera. Okay. I'm peacefully recording in our public lobby. We're not here to go in restricted areas. We're not here deliberately to try to get anyone's personal information. 
And honestly, let me just explain, and then you can say what you want to say. If there's any personal or private information that I can see from public, then you guys are not doing your job because you guys, the onus falls on you and you alone to keep that information private. What if I have a photoscopic memory? Are you going to start erasing my memory like men in black? Photographic. Photographic, sorry. Um, so I have a right to record. It's our First Amendment. Not only is it lawful, it's constitutionally protected. Freedom of press. I'm working on the story. That's it. Once we're done, we'll be on our way. Okay. That makes sense? It makes sense. And I, and I'm I get talking what, to her, sir. You're, you're dismissed. I get what you're trying to say, but we also have our own policy here, so I need to, policy, I need to, contact, I need to contact my superiors and see... And let them know, just so you know, we were peacefully recording this gentleman right here. He bumped into one of our people. No, here. he was running into the elevator. No, 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 no. Don't. Put, you can you don't can ask, but I saw feet. you bump into him. You got don't physical. Did exactly he touch you? Doing, okay? Yeah, I was walking to the elevator and he ran into me to bug me. That's no, exactly what I did. All I did was go like this. Oh. You're the one that was Sir, running. Sir, many the men and women fought for our country for these rights that we're exercising. For you to try you to impede them is unconstitutional. Sir. I'm, I'm starting to wonder what country you fought for. I fought for wow. this country, not for assholes like you. <laughs> Who are peacefully reclaimed. <laughs> you never watch the news, you never watch magazines, read the newspaper. How do you think they get their content? You fought for everyone's, everyone's <coughs> rights in America. Oh, so you did hear me. I'm sorry, what? You huh? worked her hand earlier. Are you, are you supposed to wear a name tag? Uh, excuse me, but didn't you just play deaf earlier? You were very... No, I, just, I don't answer questions. Mm. You could have announced that earlier. So seriously, no, as a supervisor, what's the issue? If we're not going in restricted areas, we're doing an awful poor job. We're making better things. Who? We're making better things. No, 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 no. You guys are the ones. I I came in here just peacefully filming. You're the one who came up to me and you guys are the ones. I came in here just peacefully filming. You're the one who came up to me. Both of you guys trying to block me. Excuse me, man. Before you walk away, you said you guys have a policy. Can you recite that policy? Yeah, let me see if I can go here right now. Yeah, can you get that policy for us, please? That'd be great. So this gentleman doesn't believe in our constitution. Mm -hmm. uh. And if you feel that you can take photographs, I do. This is you, America. You, I dare you. This is America. I dare you to yeah, put my photograph out that on it's public after I told you I'm in a protected area. Sir, you're being live streamed as we speak. What are you, communists? We're oh. communists because we're exercising our constitution. You're not rights. exercising your you're, you're violating your rights. You're violating your rights. Sir, you didn't have to inject yourself into our No, because I see you staging this and picking on security guys. Yeah. I didn't say anything to him. He's the one who came up telling me to leave. Yeah. Not to film. They don't want people photographing patients in here. I wasn't filming any patients. I came through the back over here because I saw someone over there chit-chatting. People like you. I did not film anybody. If you look at the first moments of this video, no patient was ever filmed. I do know I've heard you. That's like you that try to prevent us from Nazi Germany no, back in those days. You're obviously not, you're not aware of our constitutional rights. You aren't aware of any of them. Sir, I appreciate your service. You're violating your rights. Like, you don't seem to understand the Constitution. Mm. I really truly People it, in this building are protected from being photographed because of the nature of the treatment that they get. We're not in those rooms getting, watching you get treatment, sir. You're watching us come out. In a public area, what's the difference? Of, okay, what's the difference if I record you here or out in the parking lot? Public area into the uh, those doors here. Our, those doors. How are you going to get, get home, the other sir? Part. How are you going to get home? You're going to have to go out in the public, and I'll still see you anyways. Well, you take my hey, out there. You guys, you guys are escalating this. Let's de-escalate. Hold on, yeah, um, sir. Uh, we'll go ahead and take care of this. Thank you so much. I'm not uh, the guy here to take my name. So I can be a witness. How do you feel about Go get your information. Okay. Yeah. Let's have them Sir, there's no need for name calling. For, for instance, I'm being treated. Hey, jack off. Sir, there's no need for name calling. I'm being PTSD. If I wasn't sitting here, I'd be throwing out the fucking. You got that? You would, you would I have PTSD. I'm treated for it. And now you photograph at me. Yeah. Sir, could you take the us? No, I keep out the goddamn elevator and you pick out the security guard. I can start recording you until you inject yeah. yourself into it. Okay, so okay, let's, let's, let's go to the now. desk and then we'll just, um, we'll take you from there. Let's get your name. I wouldn't.
You got nothing better to do? You getting paid right now to stand around? It's not your business. What do you mean? It's not your business. It is my business. It's not your business. You're getting paid with tax money, right? Bye. I ain't going nowhere. This is a unit with patients hey, in it. You mad. don't come in here. What? This is a private This is a lobby right here, right? You cannot come in here because there's patients Yeah, there. I'm not going to go back there where then the patients go. are. I could come into the lobby. Bye. Alright, so this escalated very, very fast. You guys need to take some de-escalation courses. Take a deep breath, relax. What is he doing, Paul? We get it. You think our First Amendment's funny. We get it. Who's that? Some clown. Who's that? Who's hey, that? bro. I'm just going to warn you right now. If you try and bump me again, you've done it twice. I didn't bump you. You ran into me. You're, you're going to get you it. You will run into the elevator. I will defend I myself. Asked you politely. I will I'm defend not myself. I'm just fair warning. All right. He has a right to go in the elevator. You're not the only one that would defend himself. Oh, okay. Okay. We'll see who could defend the, themselves better. That's, that's important. You got to respect your elders, dude. Uh, you got to respect me. We do respect me. you, but don't bump into us. Just be hey, nice. Oh, come on. Give respect me right. should be given to everybody. Jesus Christ. Are you saying because you're an elder, like that gives you a right to, to violate our rights? Hey, are hey, you trying to follow us around or what? No, you can't. Hey, you bumper. Well, X-ray. Hi, how are you doing? Good, how are you? Pretty good. Just filming a uh, government employees, what they're doing during the work hours. <clears throat> what is this little computer for? You don't answer questions? Ma'am, I'm just recording the office. Oh. And then you keep talking to me, so I'm just stopping to conversate with you. Okay? Thank you. I don't want to be recorded. Okay, I understand that. Every time I'm about to walk away, you keep talking to me. So I got to come back and, you know, make sure that we're clear. You don't have a right, you have a right to tell me not to record, but I could still record, all right? Well, Just to I let you know, all right? I can, I well, you could write your congressman, but he can't change the Constitution of the United States. The First Amendment, which grants you freedom of press, freedom of religion, freedom to assemble. You're upsetting me, can you please walk away? Walk away. Please, you're, very, you're, upsetting, you're upsetting, upsetting my PTSD, so please, please walk away. Walk away. I'm an employee here. Okay, I'm you're an employee, so. Alright, I'm not harassing you. I was just trying to educate well, you. Well, I feel you're harassing me because you're recording me. Uh, did I, I mention there's freedom recorded. of press, right? Freedom of I press? I don't want to be recorded, sir. Okay. You know, preventing a citizen from recording is a Bain Act violation, right? There's the actual law that they passed. I don't know, I don't know those laws. I'm, I'm informing you right now. Well, by laws, in laws, your laws, their laws. All right, come on. Let's, let's go check out the rest of this area. Come on. Come on, hurry up.
You guys closed out earlier. Is this the normal hours? Yeah. 350? 3.50 a.m. You close the gate. Laboratory hours, 7.30 to 4. Yeah, just don't feel safe. Oh, okay, yeah. How come he can record, but we can't? He's doing it right now. Hey, you're breaking your own uh, policy that you're trying to tell everybody by not recording. Are you recorded? Okay, my friend. Take care. Are you recorded? Okay. Thank you. I know, I understand, ma'am. It's nothing that we can do about it at the moment. Oh, he is recorded. Rules for D, but not for me, huh? Tell everybody else not to record, but you're over here recording. from your phone that's a federal crime because I'm going to be requesting that footage from your phone. Ma'am, do you hear me? I, I know you hear me. Yeah. Pia, I'm Pia gonna, hears you. She's hearing everything. Do not delete because that's a federal crime. We do this all the time. We know we're going to do it. Yeah, as long as you're not getting pictures. Or, 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 if you want to make this easier, you can just submit that you were filming us instead of lying. So I want to let you guys know that... We could request that footage, and even if it's a personal cell phone, you're going to have to give it up. We just can't have them Beautiful film. Thing, guys, and you don't need to be um, sarcastic about it. I'm just educating them because we they may, it. They may have not it. been aware. No, no, so I'm just it. letting them, them know that they can film in public property. This is considered public space. We can't film our veterans. Um, so well, I'm getting that. We're not trying to, but we can. So that's what I just got from public affairs. That's what she's telling me. And they're wrong. If a veteran asks to not be filmed, the individuals should be asked not to film that if individual. If a veteran asks us respectfully, the, the, just because of the he fact did that they ask not country, to be filmed. No, but he started yelling and cussing at us. If you would have came up and said, you know what, I don't want to be on the camera, I would respect his rights 100%. Anyone who fought for our country, I have a very, I respect yeah. Why are you again. filming? We're working on the story, sir. Nobody here has given you permission to sir, film that. Sir, we don't need sir, permission. Sir, again, I don't want to be rude or disrespecting, because you know, you're a veteran and everything. I just want to start by saying thank you for your service. Are you a veteran? Hold on. Thank you for your service. Are you Let a me veteran? say one thing. Thank you for your service. Hold on. Okay. I'm a veteran. Does that give me permission to film here? Just let him. Just let him. Sir, sir, you don't need permission to work on your First Amendment. I'm not saying that you can't film it. We're, we're not sticking cameras in people's faces. We're not trying to be rude. If you guys just relax, we relax. They said that. Yeah, we don't want to be argumentative. If a veteran asks them, please don't film me, they cannot film me. We can, but we're going to respect them out of, out of kindness of our hearts. Unless they in inject themselves into our conversation, well, we have a right to, how do you say, communicate back to them, freedom of speech. Yeah. You know, but we're not here. Like, I'm not here to record so look, you, but we How about we start over? Let's start over from the very beginning, okay? Oh, we just oh, walked oh. in. How about you guys greet us with respect? Hello, how are you? Hey, how you guys doing? Do you need any help? What would you like to do here? Would you like to see Do the you place? need services? How about that? You guys want to start over? I guess not. No. And here's the thing, how about right now, how about get on the phone, call dispatch, let's not waste resources to have, I don't know if it's the local PD, the sheriff department, or a veteran, you know, veteran affairs police, let's not waste resources over constitutionally protected activity. And you see how you were recording this, sir? You were no, no, nothing bad, I'm just saying, you were exercising the same rights that we were doing. You weren't breaking the law, were you? You weren't breaking the law. As long as um, they're not filming the veteran, we can ask them not to film. And then, um, yeah, the veteran did ask. Yeah, that's fine. Well, he's not nervous. He's being honorary like a fucking bull over here. Man, you're a sick guy. Look, 
And she looks confused. And she's enjoying the show again. Yeah. So, so they, are you saying they can film veterans if a veteran asks? We can. That's not in the Constitution, ma'am. This guy right here. We're not so trying they're, to. They're telling, yeah, they're telling We're not trying to. Let them know. We're not trying to. Trying to let them know that they can't film veterans, but they said we can. We're not trying to, but we can. But they can. Like if they get in our background, we can't prevent that. Or if they can have a conversation with We're us. not intentionally going to go up and film a veteran. But if they come to us conversating, then they will exactly. be on film. That's, that's just common they're, sense, they're you know? Do you walk up to a, a camera and not expect to get filmed? Having conversation like and we ignore them. Wouldn't you think that they're you're not doing it? Engage back. That's disrespectful. And sir, you can voice your concerns like, hey, I don't want you to go up the elevator, but you can't physically stop them from moving. Yeah, I mean, that's what got them, the veterans riled up. I mean, they were yeah, in the public space. On the house, uh, brother. In a public space. So the veterans like, you're violating no my rights. Um, so they were, that's Compliments why they were like, of these security forward. guards. You would have been gone about 15 yeah. minutes ago, but they escalated guys. Okay. Oh, no, the women aren't going to feel safe walking in the car. Oh, no. You're okay. Gonna you're not going to follow anyone in their car. I mean, unless okay. they want us to. Sounds good. For security purposes. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, yeah, it succeeded. I think everyone was a little caught off guard, so we'll, we'll probably see it in the future. About 80 degrees outside? Um, well, they're still here, so we're, we're going to have to um, continue up here, so I'm going to talk with her right now. Okay. All right, thank you. So, Supervisor, what's the outcome? Are we good to go? Yeah, I mean, you can continue filming, and it's a public space. Um, we just ask if the veteran oh, asks. You know, you're asking, now that you're saying, yeah. you're asking, you're not demanding. Well, it is, I mean, say, we saved it for you, we're filming you can't, if they're saying, um, we're not trying to, um, you can't, if they're asking you not to film them, but it, considering, again, it is a public space, then, we just double check on your bathroom last time, okay, continue, perfect, yeah, okay, mm -hmm. so to clarify, you acknowledge them that we are allowed to record, we can record veterans, we're going to try not to, mm -hmm. And again, we're not trying to get them, but if they engage in conversation with us, it would be rude for us not to say something back. Don't you? Like if you were speaking to us and we just ignored you, wouldn't that be kind of rude? Yeah, I think they just, you know, it's the veteran population, they can get riled up. You know, they probably don't like to be filmed. Well, uh, no, just to put this out there, no veteran was riled up until the security guards started causing a big scene and escalating everything. And we will review that and follow up with our security Well, I, I hope you do more than just review. Maybe do some training, well, we provide need, some supplemental need, information, need some pamphlets, or maybe a little PowerPoint presentation, you know. So I'm gonna, yes, and, thank you. I, and not I, just for the security you know, guards, but for every employee in here, just so they have an understanding. Of the, the basic laws yeah, of the you. land. Yeah, normally and the most important laws. Hour, but I'll do this on the house since it's for the you. veterans. If you'd like me to You're come welcome. and do some training. Thank you. I'd so, is there anything else you need yes. from operations here? I need something from you. Her name, her title, her salary, and the video off of her phone. Oh, she just recorded. Okay. Yep. So, if I have to put that in a public records request, I'll do that. Or, so we can avoid all of it, she can just admit into Maybe my she camera. Can drop it to us? Or, or she can admit in my camera that she recorded a video and she was lying to me. Oh, and she's going to have to surrender her personal me. phone. So you know, see how she's walking away? Uh, it was just interesting because, you know, if you're I can't force her to. Was, she's, yeah. if she's choosing Get your not supervisor. to. I'm not her supervisor. Get your supervisor in there. My supervisor? Yeah. She's a public servant, she's serving the public. With our tax I can, re I can, my yeah, supervisor you guys get paid is not our taxes. available right now. I can let okay, my so, supervisor know. Okay, so give know. me a form, uh, a public records request form, or a blank sheet of paper, and I'll write out a public records request and you can for her information. It, yeah, 10 days of, not you, but whoever you submit to your department, yep. proper chain of command. And, and if she deletes it, phone. that's a federal crime. So you might want to let her know not to delete that video. Okay, well that's... What is, hey, what is your supervisor's name, by the way? <laughs> you know what I'm talking about though, right now? 
Well, we'll have to follow up with our public affairs follow. office to get that form. Well, no, so you can just give me a blank piece of paper. I'll write it on the back of it or whatever. And I submit it to you. You stamp it. You date it. You copy it. You give me the copy. Let me contact oh. her one more time. Yeah, so ask her about public, a FOIA request. public request form uh, public request. or Freedom of Information Act. She has some good jobs. She probably wouldn't be able to delete the video. I'm going to go check the camera footage. I'm going to go walk around. Oh, there's a looky who up there. Oh, there she goes. And to clarify, just in case the police can come or Veteran Affairs Police, she already confirmed we are allowed to go forward. She acknowledged. We didn't need her permission in the first place, but she did acknowledge that. It's a start, guys. Yeah, Pia was a little bit hesitant, I believe, about calling her supervisor. She took a long pause and decided the best answer would be that, oh, the supervisor is not available right now. But I have a feeling that the supervisor may be available. Um, yeah. Can I get your supervisor's name and phone number so I could call them directly? You can speak to me. Oh, you're the supervisor? Yeah. Excellent. I'm going to have to tell the... Uh, out here. Where do you go? Go upstairs, third floor, second floor. All right. So she just identified herself as a supervisor right there. So yeah. She, oh, the other lady. Right here. Gotcha. In the middle, the black shirt on the phone. That's kind of funny. Pia said she's not available. She's standing right there. That's. That's kind of a the bad thing lying Freedom to the public. Information Act of 1972 or a FOIA request. F O I A. It's a FOIA request. FOIA request. F O I A. F O I A. Freedom of Information Act form or public records request. They stopped, they stopped recording. Um, I can, I can, um, I can uh, review that with you later, but I'll just let them. You said. They can just put it on a piece of paper? Perfect. That's exactly what you want. Oh, no. So we got some loopy loop right there. They dipped they dip out. See what's on the point out there? And where is that? How long does it occur? That would be a honorary location by law. If you have it, so and then you guys submit it to the proper channels. I'm saying we should have it here by law. Or on a blank piece of paper, like you said, but you guys have to be able to submit it. That's yeah. only a request form. Whether you have a form or not, you should be able to accept the FOIA request today, whether it's on a written piece of paper or a form. And then that proper department will determine what information they'll give us or not, but we need to be able to request it. Is it um, a form, though, or just like a piece of paper they can write on? You want to check out upstairs? Yeah. We'll be back. I don't know, probably, there were two ladies that moved too. Yeah. Well, the one downstairs, she was, uh, was pretty nice. She, this lady's freaking out. Oh, okay. Oh. They were trying to tell me that this is a federal building and that I can't film and all that stuff. You know? Well, she, looks like she got back to work. I'll have to leave her alone. Oh. Excuse me. You could just walk around. Look at all that space back there. Yeah, yes. There was plenty. There's plenty of space. Yes, but you. Uh, yes, but what? Yes, but what? Why do you guys have to be rude to us? Though? Why do you have to be rude? Look how look at all that space back there. Why do you gotta cut in between me and a garbage can? You just walked in front of him. Why'd you do that, man? Anyway. So she bumps into him and she. Are you kidding me? Wow. Look, the hiding. nerve on this lady! The walk of shame! Go to do the walk of shame to the bathroom. Excuse me. How about you excuse yourself and walk around a couple feet? Have some common decency. That's a beautiful name. And you know what? You're actually really beautiful too, but your attitude is ugly. It's just like, because I'm just trying to find money. I'm, trying to do I'm just trying job. to make my money too. But where are you guys from? Yeah. We have a YouTube channel. Okay, and what is your channel called? Nanya. Is that what it's really called? Yeah. No, no, no. That's, <laughs> not, that's what his is called. Okay. No, but see, we go to public buildings like this, and we film, and we see how people react to the camera, which we're at, we have every right to be filming here. Mm -hmm. Like, we've already been established downstairs, and people freak out for no reason, and then they try to tell us that we can't do what we're doing, but we already know we're allowed to do it. So then, like, the, how the security guard, bumped him and got in his way, he's gonna get fired because of that because he doesn't need to be treating him like like a like an animal basically. 
just because he's filming. You know, what you guys are supposed to do is treat us with respect, allow us to do what we're doing, which is our First Amendment right of free press, because we, we are we are press, we're independent journalists. So, when people do that, when, when people do that, when they treat us like that, that riles me up personally, and then I'm like, okay, now my focus is now on that one person who is trying to violate my rights and tell me that I can't do something, and I'm gonna prove to them that I can't. Like the girl downstairs who was filming, and she lied to me on camera, said she wasn't filming, she's like, oh, I'm on a FaceTime phone call. Now I'm gonna get all of her information and I'm gonna expose her on the internet. Because she's a liar. When she could have just been like, yeah, you know what, I'm filming. But the whole issue was that they were trying to tell us that we couldn't film, so why can she film us? See how it doesn't, doesn't make sense, right? You see, how, you see what I'm saying? You don't have to give me your opinion, it's okay. Right. Well, thank you for listening. That is, that is very respectful. Yeah. I you appreciate too. you. Yeah, I was like, what? Am I supposed to walk closer to the garden? We were standing right there. Yeah. I don't know. Put a space on one side, like four feet on the other. <laughs> you guys don't have to hide, it's okay. Oh, hey, so this is the supervisor right here. That's what I found out. So that means Pia lied about supervisors not available, and she was standing there the whole time. Really? Yeah, she identified herself as a supervisor. Eduardo. Yeah. Tina Eduardo. Yeah. I do. From this is the number, correct? Right? We'll do. We'll do. We're good to go, ma'am. We're good. All right. Nine questions. Information request. You are the supervisor of everyone in this building. I'm the supervisor of this clinic. Yes. Okay. There's a woman downstairs who was filming us, and when they were making such a big deal about us filming, I asked her. Hey, are you filming? And she said, no, I'm on a FaceTime call. So she lied to me on camera. And I would like to get her information. It's a public records request. Right? Okay. Her so name. you would have to complete that. So I have all no, I need, all I need, all I need okay. from you is uh, her name and her title here. Well, we'll see. I'll see if I can disclose her name. But I, you I can. Not. She's a public employee. She is. So that means I'm requesting information on her. You have to divulge that information to me. I'll wait till I get that guidance. From? I'll wait till I get that guidance and I'll probably write it to you. You'll probably write it to me? No, I'll provide it to you. Oh, I'll wait for guidance. Provide it. Okay, so who, are, who do you have to get that information from? I'm waiting to, we'll be, just a moment. When so is he out, is he able to write in a request right now, since you're the supervisor to you? And he can either submit a FOIA request, I believe one of, one of the staff was checking, so it's a FOIA. Or so, blank piece of paper, I can write file a, uh, You can file a complaint with our VA police. Yeah, but I don't know her name. Okay. Why would I file that with the police? Yeah, yeah the police won't do anything about that. Okay. In general, not exactly. The administrative. How many staff you have working through all the shifts throughout the week? 100 people, 200 people, 500 people? There's several. So would you say more than 100? Yes. So giving that there's more than 100 people, how can he file in a request if we don't know who that one individual is? Well, we'll wait for guidance, okay, sir? Okay, but once you find out, You'll let us know we'll what guidance. her name name is. We'll get guidance on what can be disclosed. Thank you so much. Appreciate you. Right. You can go back to work now. You're dismissed. I'm not dismissed. I'm in charge of this. You're in charge of this one. This floor only. This floor only, or the whole clinic. We might have to come back because uh, I think she gave most of the people the day off. Are you the supervisor of the whole clinic or is it like our supervisors at the top or are they just like group or something? Group room, 304. So she laying herself up in a good angle to observe me and conversate still.
down the stairs. See if she wants to follow me. See the security guy. Oh, and that lady is still down there. The whole crew is there. Was a supervisor, she just got off the elevator. So, when you really think about it, we got one, two, three, four, five, six employees all around this front desk. Um, really, only see one of them working, the other one's just sitting by the computer, the other one in the gray shirt's just kind of standing around. And it uh, looks like Pia's trying to look up some stuff. Security's just talking to that veteran. Other security's talking to the supervisor. You count all the salaries that are uh, just sitting around right there. I wonder if there's a better use for that. Oh, that is good news. Jack, this is what you sent me here. You said they're making you guys wear masks and you wanted me to come check out this facility because the masked person chased you out to your car and tried to take a picture of your vehicle. Well, Jack, good news for you. You don't have to feel that anxiety about that. It says, hello, we are no longer requiring masks. However, if you are experiencing any COVID flu-like symptoms or have TB, then we are still requiring masks. So, it's okay for you to make your appointment, Jack. Sure that she tells the employee to not delete that video because if she does, she'll better crime. Oh, here you go. Is that a Her name is Diana Molina. Okay, can you write it down for me? Or you can write it down. Yourself. Okay, Diana Molina. That is correct. Can you tell them how to spell it properly? Please. I think I can. It's M O L I N A. I N A? Diana Molina. Perfect. Thank you so much. Yeah, that's that's the only reason why we're still here. We would have been gone a long time ago. Okay. All right, so now I'm going to fill this out and I'm going to turn it to you and or someone else. You fill out a FOIA request. No, I'm going to fill it all in here. You guys are going to take it as a receipt on this piece of paper because I don't do internet stuff. You you have to fill out a FOIA request. Not true. Request. That's uh, yeah. It's not true. You want to put your name down? Yeah, you could do it anonymous with the email. I'm going to put my email down and you guys are going to email me the results. That's how it works. We do this everywhere we go. Okay? Put your email down. You write down, receive the date, copy it, and give me a copy of it, okay? Sounds good? Can you write down your information? Does that sound good? Okay. Pia, did they say how far out the uh, VA police are? Uh, so we know when. Minutes. All right, we got to leave soon, man. Pen's dying. She would send me a video. We have another pen. Okay. If you could get me a copy of 
copy of this and sign it as received and date it? I'm not signing it, but you have it recorded. You acknowledge that I'm taking it from you, so. Hold on, I need to get that on camera. So you're not gonna take my public records request? I am going to take your public records. But you're not gonna sign it or date it and give me a copy of it? I need a copy for my records, please. I need a copy for my records. Can you, can you make a copy of this? Yeah. And if it doesn't get processed, you will be held liable. So you just need one copy? Yes, and if, if you could just sign it and date it that you received it, yeah. that'd be great. You would have, this is a Do you have a stamp that you could use instead of signing or dating? Hey, I'll make a copy. Hello? So what is today? Why are you asking? Let me, um, okay, let me finish this with them. Thank you. Bye. Can you leave right here? Huh? Can you leave right here? Are you gonna head out? No, no. Okay, yeah. So we just need your information so that we know who to it's right there. address it's the. the email. Did he put his email on there? Did you put your email on here? Yeah. Sorry. Yeah. Right here at the bottom. Oh, right here at the bottom. No, yeah. Cal Cop. And then is your, can we have a name? No. no. Cal Cop Boss. Okay. My name. Just address that. So we'll pass this along to our FOIA officer mm -hmm. who's at Palo Alto. And then she will then reach out to you. Should respond within ten days. Yeah, we got it. We know the deal. Yeah. Okay. So we got this. Yeah. Uh, uh, want to sign a date. Yeah. But the thing is, you know, like, and, and humor me, yeah. humor me. Sure. Let's say I reported someone coming out of the door uh -huh. versus inside the door. It's still the same footage. It's, it's still a public area. You know, I'm just saying, but there's no difference in me reporting them out here right. than in there. You are 100% authorized, but just as a, a private citizen, me, yeah. I'm not sure why I want someone knowing that I went to a hospital for maybe yeah, some yeah. treatment. And, like, and, you know, and we tried to explain to the supervisors yeah. in there. We weren't here to record the veterans getting, uh, you know, services. Sure. However, they, how do you say, injected themselves into our conversation or started saying stuff, well, our hands are tied. Yeah. You know, we can't control that. Uh -huh. We were trying our best to keep them off out of respect, but we're definitely allowed to record them. It's kind of like we're not going to go record children, right. but if there's a kid running in the background, it's mm -hmm. not, we're not breaking the law. No. Public areas are public areas. I'm yeah. a public official. You can tell me all day. if you went to Disneyland or the boardwalk yeah. and, you had to, and you're trying to do a selfie yeah. and you had to get permission from the 50 people mm -hmm. behind you, it'd be like North Korea. Yeah. And, and if you guys want a tour, like uh, we have a public affairs office, they could probably get you a tour whenever you want. Yeah. But uh, that's up to the public affairs thing. That's not thing I do. We've well, been very helpful. I appreciate it. So my, my main thing is you're going to inform them Absolutely. and let them know, hey, like in case you know, when we come back and do a follow up, say in a month, two months, sure. that hey, we're allowed to be here. And hopefully next time, especially the security, mm -hmm. if they're going to be the first point of contact in the front office or down, you know, through the screening, sure. they need to be a little more cordial, respectful. Yeah. They need to be educated on this. Uh, yeah. some, it's, some it's serious. Is, uh, it's very serious because yeah. just easily, you know, when they start. If they were, if this guy wasn't such a nice guy, when they and this guy right here, when they impeded their movement, mm -hmm. we could have defended ourselves. Uh, yeah, you no, know? no one wants. And to we get don't hit. want that. They, they don't want to get hit. And you guys don't want to get hit. No, That's we right. definitely don't. Well, well, unfortunately, I was, I was bumped into twice. But, you and know, he, and he, him being such unwanted a nice guy, touch, right? You know, him being such a nice That's guy, he kind of, you know, let it slide. Yeah. But you know, just as easily, if you would have been in a bad mood or something happened, it would have been bad. Yeah. So, are you yeah. actual like police, or do uh, you? I'm better Veterans Affairs Police, so we're federal. Oh, so you're federal police. So you have the right. To arrest somebody for a crime, uh, federal police, yeah, like on like, like a federal, like federal property. So for so. assault on this property, can you arrest somebody for that? Uh, if, if it was gonna, if like active, something I saw on scene, yes. Otherwise, what if we had the evidence DM. of it? Like yeah, I showed you. If you showed me evidence, we could push towards the DM. Do you happen to have a badge number? Uh, right here. Uh, but right here. Like Nineteen seventy-five. Okay. Nineteen seventy-five. Yep. Last name. Uh, Drusdo. I gave him my card if yeah, you wanted. To All right. It. Well, I'll take the card too. I'm not really with him. So this man was assaulted. Okay. I don't know if he wants to press charges or not, but if he wants to, it's pretty serious. You know, like you know, like if I were to come up and just bump into you or start assaulting you, you know, it looked pretty bad. You know what I mean? Can you imagine if we as 
just walked into their place of work or business and we started bumping into people, started attacking them, we'd probably be tackled, we'd be cha shackled up, taken away, our freedoms would be gone. So you know, what's any different with them doing with us? Oh, I don't think anybody should get an like, honestly, I work at a hospital, like yeah. the federal affairs police. Exactly. I, I don't want anyone to get injured, never. Like, it's always a bad thing for everybody. So, uh, where's your office located? Just uh, out office, of curiosity. Uh, yeah. Yes, at 3801 Miranda Avenue. It's yeah. uh, Who's Powell that? out there. Who's that over there? Uh, that's my co-worker. Oh, okay. Co-worker, yeah. Supervisor? Uh, co-worker, not supervisor. Is, is, is she an officer? Hi, as I'm well? Lieutenant Ray. Oh, okay. Lieutenant Ray. Oh. 1426. 1426. Yeah, I just didn't know. I was like, ah. Uh, well, no, oh. in plain clothes, you were a jacket. <laughs> I didn't know that. Right. Do you have a card by any chance? Yeah. Lieutenant, so is that higher than him? Yes. Oh, sweet. Are you, are you a veteran yourself? Or? Yes, I am an I Army veteran. Nice. I appreciate your service. I'm still in. Nice. We do this. I appreciate awesome. both of this. Appreciate your service. Yeah. And again, just for you, just kind of make sure it's clear. Uh, absolutely. Okay, so we have to break away. Yeah, go ahead. All right. It was no crimes are being committed here. Okay. On our at least, at least by us. Okay. So just as we were explaining, hey, to the, to the you guys stay safe, okay? okay. Absolutely. And I know you're in a hurry. Just make it quick. This. You're going to have the point of contact so right in the front at the front lobby the security. Yeah. Those are the people that, in my humble opinion, they need a little more de-escalation training. They need to learn how to approach people. Okay. Not get physical, not get verbal, just be peaceful. Yeah. Yeah. All right, take care. Thanks, guys. Is, is there I more facilities I, in this city? Uh, more facilities? facilities? Yeah. Uh, if you look on the website, it's the easiest way. Cause there's one in Marina. There's one in... But is this Sonora, the only one in San Jose? The only one in San Jose. Oh, okay. Uh, and this is actually... Uh, what do you call it? It's a, a proprietor's jurisdiction. So inside this building is what we own, and this is all leased property. So this parking lot is all leased property to like San Jose, some. I have to look at the, the GIS survey, but I'm pretty sure there is actually a property line that's so part of this property does belong to this. Uh, the, I would the, the VA it's doesn't own any of this. This is all rented space. But, but the but building it, itself is rented to or leased. This, this entire building is rented space to the VA. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, but so yeah. since you guys are the ones operating it, it's still considered federal property. It's kind of like post offices. Yeah. In, even if they don't inside own the walls, like parking lot, not. I think so, even the so world. Just curious, how do we go about getting the information on the security guards here? Do we have to contact the security company? Uh, I'm not sure who actually the contract like, is, so I can get that information for you. We need both of their names. Okay, sure. If you can get that information. I get the kind of, uh, our Major Tyler at the VA Palo Alto, he's the one who governs our security contract. I don't actually do that. Like, that's not a thing I do, but so uh, I get his information. Yeah, we go there. What's the address oh. of that place? You know, off the top of your uh, head? To, to, uh, to, Palo Alto? The, to Palo Alto location? 3801 Rand Avenue. Miranda. Uh, Palo Alto, California, 94304, I think. Yeah. Take care. Hey. hey, you're one of the good ones. We appreciate you. Okay. Thank you. All right, guys. Have a good day. All right. See you later. So the Lieutenant Ray said she had to come back and talk to some of the employees here. This security guard who liked to bump me is over here holding the door. He's lucky I don't press charges on him for assault. Maybe I will, since he's right here. Unless he wants to man up and apologize. They all went down there for some reason. Hey, if he's getting an education, you should go down there and get a little education, man. I think so. I mean, they should be. Yeah. 
This guy, this old, the old security guard, he's standing here by the door. Hopefully, he's listening so he can learn something. Try telling him to go down there and get educated. Did he? Is he holding the door shut? Yeah, he's been blocking it since I've been over here. This one right here. So I'm guessing this side's unlocked. And he said something. Look, she's not even listening to him. Did she get educated too? I hope so. She had a little attitude on her. She does got an attitude. Uh, she does got an attitude. I say. I say. Which way is it open? Hey, did you get an education? Yeah. Hey. Questions? Yeah, can I get an incident number or call number uh, or anything you know, like honestly, that? Honestly, I don't have an incident number, but uh, if you uh, do a FOIA request, you can get one from the VA police just around this time. Can't you just use your radio and call? Uh, I don't, that's a report writing system. I have to put it in, and it's like a 12-digit number. Okay. But if you give, uh, if you go to VA police in Palo Alto, 3101 Randall Avenue, uh -huh. they, they can get you a FOIA request, and you can ask for it. You can't, I can't just call over the phone? I have to uh, go they on? wouldn't give you one over the phone. You have to ask for it. And that's the only way to get it? If you want the report, sure. Okay. Well, there's, there's a policy and procedure to do it. Is that right, Lieutenant? Yeah. yeah. Is there, is That's the only way? Is that... The security guard's names before we leave? Uh, I not no, they're... So the only way I... The, door and try, that's fine. the only way I could get an incident... The uh, only way I could get an incident report or call number is to go down to the station? Oh, you can call. You can call and request oh. on information. Hey there, Sergeant. She just said I could call. You said no? I couldn't do that. Okay. Doesn't mean that they're going to give it to you over the phone. You can call and request information on how to better do it. Okay. Just trying to help you guys out. All right. How's it going, sir? Hey, how Have a good weekend. You all right? This vehicle number 4109B. Oh, we got the NorCal on there. All right, folks, that was the San Jose Veterans Affairs Clinic. Right from the start, I was confronted by poorly trained security and staff trying to make me stop recording and leave the building. I was assaulted and had my movement restricted by security. There was a VA supervisor hiding, telling lies, and had an overall disdain for the public. They called the police and were hoping to get us arrested. Let me know in the comments if this was a pass or a fail. In my opinion, the security was a definite a fail, along with most of the VA staff. Let me know what you think in the comments, and don't forget to subscribe, like, comment, and share for future content. And definitely go check out Anthony X and NorCal Copwatch. This is AVA, out!